Hey there, Touchboards Nation. This is Anthony here. Welcome to another Touchboards Versus video. Two of our smallest heavy hitters, the Elmo MX-1 versus the Hovercam Solo 8. That's right, the two 4K contenders going up against each other, and you're here to watch. So basically what we do, if you're not already familiar with these videos that we make, this camera, the Elmo MX-1, according to the specs, is the thinnest, lightest, most powerful camera in its class. Elmo says 13 megapixels above 4K video resolution, super thin, just over a pound, unbelievable. Hovercam Solo 8. This has been the king of the USB document camera for a while now. 4K video, 30 frame per second on both of these actually. A um, little bit bigger, nice heavier base, very, very stable. Um, so you look at the spec sheets and you might think, well, they're pretty even, or according to some features that the Elmo's the winner. But we don't think much of spec sheets here at Touchboards. We're gonna look at the Hovercam Solo 8. As I mentioned, this has been around for a little while. It's been the undisputed king of the USB document camera. USB 3.0, 4K video resolution, excellent high def, you know, 1080p video resolution. Hooks up to your computer, two ports here. One of them is labeled install. And when you pull the little cover off of that, you can actually install the software right from the camera. So you don't have to download it. Totally adjustable, swivels to the sides. And as you can see here, you even got lights. Now down in the front, we've got some control buttons here. Put something under there, it's going to automatically focus. So you can see it's doing a pretty good job on my hand right there. Uh, we have a couple different tools at the bottom, including split screen. A slingshot, which lets you put the video into other programs you may be using, especially whiteboard programs. In control, we can adjust some color settings here. Turn that brightness down a little bit because it does seem a little bit high. Uh, you've got white balance settings you could play with, exposure, autofocus, things like that. All right, so here's our next competitor, the Elmo MX-1. Now, the MX-1 claims to be the smallest, thinnest, lightest document camera in its class. Elmo claims 13 megapixels with this and above 4K video resolution. And the camera opens up like so. So what this unique neck allows is for multiple positions, whether you wanna get it real low against an object or paper, or if you need to make it up high so you can have maximum viewing area. Um, the head also turns so you can have it look at yourself and use it as a webcam. Just hook it into your computer using Elmo's ImageMate 4 software. You're gonna be able to view it on your computer screen and then send it out to whatever LCD or projector you're using. So you've got your toolbar on the right-hand side of the display there. And we can actually open up a remote control panel. So if you're using it with an interactive board and you're not standing at the camera, you can access the same buttons that are actually on the camera. Freeze frame our image, so I'll put my hand under there and freeze it. And look, not under the camera anymore, but it's still there. Hovercam does that as well. Pretty standard. Uh, you can also flip your image around so our happy face becomes an upside down happy face. And as with the Hovercam, we can pull up our settings right on the screen here. Now one difference between this and the Solo 8, where the Solo 8 would refocus every time I did something like this, this isn't doing that. You're just seeing the table shaking. The MX-1 has an autofocus button, so you actually have to push the button either on the camera or on the screen there, and it'll refocus. Let's look at these two cameras side by side and see how they perform. adaptability, or at least that's what I like to call it. The Solo 8 is USB only. It's 
going to hook up to your computer. You have to have a computer connected. If you want HDMI or VGA, you go up to the next hover cam model, the Ultra 8. The MX1 we talked about USB 3.0 just like the hover cam. However, you've got this other little port here. I have no idea what that is, but I can tell you what it does. There's an optional connect box, as Elmo calls it. This connect box and the included cable will connect to your MX1, just like that. Now, just so you know, the connect box, it is an option, but we do sell it as a package with the MX1. You've got HDMI and VGA output. You also have a power cord, USB cable with wall adapter. So you're going to plug that in. Now you can go directly into your LCD screen or your projector with the MX1. Both cameras come with warranties, of course. Hover cam, two years out of the box. If you register it, they will extend it out one year and you can get a total of three years on the Solo 8. The MX1, well, the MX1's got a five-year warranty. That's it. Nothing to do. You just open it up and there it is, five-year warranty. So, winner Elmo. Video quality, I'd say they're both winners. They both have really nice images. Portability though, something we didn't really talk about that much. While the hover cam can be stashed away in something fairly easily, well, I can't really stick this in my pocket. I guess I could do that, but I can't walk around like that. The MX-1 though, even with the base attached, There you go. It's like it's not even there. I'd really like it if you can give me a call, ask any questions that you have, because somebody's application is definitely different than somebody else's. And while this one might work better for person A, this one may work better for person B. But I think it's pretty clear that you've got a better warranty with the Elmo, you've got the magnetic base with the Elmo, and you've got the optional connect box with the Elmo. So that's a lot of pluses. So that about does it for the Solo 8 MX1 versus video. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at Touchboards, 866-942-6273.